All right, Veronica. Awesome. Parking lot practice. Slow speed turns, slow speed U-turns, U-turns from a stop. Get you confidently I've doing those I've things. I've never fully locked the... Um, the handlebars? Yeah. Okay. Never. All right. So for the practice session of that, I think having the balance and being able to put your foot down comfortably, confidently, is totally fine. Okay. While you get used to having full lock. Because if you are in a full lock turn with those handlebars fully turned, um, if your body position, your upper body position isn't right, if you're not leaning out to balance, counterbalance the weight of the bike, um, you're gonna drop the bike. So if your foot's down like straddle, like you're straddle walking and you're just feathering the clutch and riding the clutch in the friction zone, that'll give you more confidence while you, once, once you feel what it feels like to be on a full lock turn. Um, and then once you've done it a few times and you're used to it, then you can start picking your feet up and putting them on the, on okay. the floorboards, okay? Would it be better if I take this off? Makes no difference. Okay. Not really. Not with the weight. No, I'd rather, if this is the bike you're going to be riding and using, then you should be practicing with it the way you set it up to ride. Okay. So if you're doing a left-hand turn, remember to shift your shoulders to the right. So as we talked about, when you're on the bike, you know, and you're central on the bike, remember your posts for your goal posts, your field goal posts, like in soccer or American football. Um, if you're going to do a left-hand turn and you're full lock here, and the bike's in a left-hand turn and it's gonna to lean to the left, you need to shift your body weight over the right-hand goalpost, okay? So you're gonna to lean to the right, okay, as the bike leans to the left. So just shift your body, upper body to the right. Your butt stays in the seat. You don't have to shift your butt, your butt on the seat. Just stay set, just keep your butt central and just move that upper body weight to the right, okay? It's not a huge jerky movement, it's just a shift, okay? But you remember, you've got to keep your head and eyes up and you've got to turn your head and look where you want to go. If you look down at the ground, the bike's going to want to tip down to the ground because that's where it thinks you want to go. I tell you, they're psychic. <laughs> they know where you want to go based on where you're looking. So remember just to keep your head and eyes up, turn if you were going to make a left turn, full look where you want to go and keep your head turned all the way through that turn. This is our line of travel here and here. So it's really important that the point where you want to make that right turn is where your front wheel comes up to the turning, the entrance of the turn. So if you're, if you're sitting on your bike here, front wheel of the bike's going to be about here. This is the point where I'm looking to the right. Okay. All right, turning and I'm leaning a little bit, my shoulders to the outside as the bike goes into a little bit of a lean here, I'm counterbalancing to the left, okay? And turning all the way around and then keep going through, all right? Now, the first few times that you practice, don't worry about hitting the cones, don't worry about going over the lines. Let's just do it a few times and get used to it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Relax and breathe, smile, have fun. Everything's easy, easier if you're smiling and having fun, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't have the stresses of being in class. Yeah. I like class. You liked class? I loved it. That was the best two days of my life. Yeah, it was awesome. In school. School. Motorcycle school. All right. So when the bike is upright, both feet are flat on the ground. Good. Yeah, just about. Almost. Almost tippy toes. It's a big bike for you. It's impressive. You know, the secret to you riding this well is a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Yeah. You need to find a parking lot where you live and practice, practice, practice. So the techniques that we, we you learn today and you practice today, yeah have got to become something that you start doing on a regular basis. Remember to come in straight. Good, slow it down, turn your head. Right. So her head wasn't turned to the right and she crossed the left-hand line there. So remember, use your back brake if you need to slow it down. So you came in then a little bit too fast and you crossed that other line. You want to try and stay in between here and your head wasn't turned so i'm going to give you a visual reference by standing where i want you to look at me and i want you to look at me when i say look at me turn your head turn your head turn the bars lean the bike right turn your head turn the bars lean the bike cross the line <laughs> You gotta have a bigger head turn, okay? 
Turn your head, turn, I mean your head turn's got to be like 90 degree head turn. All, all the, that's it, that's a head turn. I know it feels weird, and as you turn those bars, that's right, shift your body weight to the opposite side, okay? I think the thing you need to really work on is slow speed friction zone riding, okay? So just practice riding slowly up and down for a couple of minutes. Real, like when the like just straddle walking the bike if you want to feeling the friction zone and controlling the power all right slow it down slow it down slow it down slow it down you didn't turn your head and look at me slow it down slow it down slow it down good head turn lean the bars oh veronica what happened yeah. Oh no. And that went in the opposite direction. Okay, so when you slow down, you gotta slow down in a straight line. Okay. Alright, how are your bars? They're okay. They did their job. Alright, so remember when you're coming into a stop, keep it straight to brake straight to brake. You've got to upright, straight, look straight ahead, keep your handlebars straight, keep the bike straight, apply your brakes, <laughs> come to a stop and then put your foot down to balance. Okay. What you did was you had your bars twisted and you were coming slowing down to talk to me and stop and because you were braking as your bars were twisted and then you looked down, the bike went down. Okay. I think I got it on video as well. Oh, no. So as you brake, when you come into a stop, all right, as you come into a stop, even if your feet are out down, smooth clutch, smooth braking, keep your shoulders straight, keep your head upright, keep looking straight ahead. If your head is turned anywhere else or you're looking down, that's where the bike wants to go. The objective is to stay upright and straight, whether you're at a slow speed stop or whether you're at a high speed stop. Bars have to be straight. The bike has to be straight. That's twisted. The wheel is off center and offline, even like that. You've got to keep it lined up and straight. So as you come in, clutch, smooth brake, even if your feet are out and you're not using any of your rear brake, if you're going really slowly, you can just use your front brake. Have your feet out, yeah? Coming to a stop, balance with your feet out, nice and smoothly, feet out to balance, smooth clutch, smooth brake. But if everything's straight, the bike will stay upright as you come on in like that, okay? I'm so sorry you dropped it. As you're coming into that turn, I want you to be riding that rear brake, but controlling the speed with your clutch, okay? Little bit of riding on the back brake, just because there's so much power in these bikes. You basically have to use some rear brake to come in at the right speed to make the turn, okay? So come in nice and slowly on the outside line, head turn, turn the bars, lean the bike. Shift your body weight to the opposite side, all right? Good. So this is the line here, excellent, excellent, excellent. This is where, you come forward, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now you'd be turning your head and looking at me. Now turn the bars. Turn the bars, that's it. You got more in the bars, you see. <laughs> There's more in the bars, okay? And that's the way you do it. Now, you know the bike can do it, okay? And you're in the good body position here, so now it's all about having momentum, okay? Nice, smooth momentum. You're gonna push. It's just a heavy bike, so you need a little bit more momentum. Just go up, turn around, come in on the other side. Drag that rear brake, drag the rear brake. Turn your head, turn the bars. That's it, that's it. If you just kept looking at me, you'd have made that perfectly. Your, your line was absolutely perfect, your speed was perfect, you had your head turned at me, and then you turned back. You looked back at the, the handlebars. And what did the bike do? It straightened that way, because you turned your head. If you kept looking at me, you'd have kept turning, and you'd have made the turn perfectly. So that's all we need to practice, okay? All right, slow it down, ride the rear brake, turn your head, Turn the bars, keep the throttle going, don't look down. Keep that bars turned, that was good. You just wanna get the confidence instilled in her that she can make these turns. Turn the bars, turn the head, good. Keep pushing, keep turning a little more. 
Excellent. You got this. Confidently smile. Turn your head. Turn the bars. Good. You did it. That was perfect. Nailed it. Turn your head. Turn the bars. Lean the bike. Don't look down. Head and eyes up. That looks so good. Better? So much better. Thank you. I want to build that confidence so that you know you can do it. Thank you see the difference in the clutch control? Because you were feathering the clutch, riding that clutch in and out, in and out, in and out, and you were riding the rear brake. You slowed it down to a good, steady momentum movement. Yeah. You had your head turned, you leaned the bike, you turned the bars, the, and, you, and you made it. Mm -hmm.